Hello, Aries. Hello to all of the beautiful Aries out there. Happy Mother's Day to all of the female Aries out there. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I'm going to be doing your reading for the week of May 11th through May 17th. I hope you have enjoyed your weekend. I hope that you enjoy the upcoming week as well. And for my female Aries, I hope you enjoy, you have enjoyed your Mother's Day. Your card, first card that came out for you, Aries, is the Queen of Pentacles. Your cards already started coming out. So I'm just going to start the reading. The, the energy in the cards has, has spoken. What is influencing this Queen of Pentacles? The Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands. What is the past energy for the sign of Aries? Spirit, what is the past energy for the sign of Aries? Mm. Okay. That card went into the floor. The King of Cups for your past energy. I hope that you can see all of the cards. The media pass energy. Is the death card. Could be done with a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart. What are your crowning thoughts? Aries, what are your crowning thoughts? If this video resonates with your situation, please share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. You have the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy. This could be you. Your future energy is the Knight of Swords. What you fear is the page of wands. Others see you as the four of swords. I don't know why I have like a pet peeve that everything has to be in alignment. Like, you fear the knight of wands. And your outcome is the Hermit card. Could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart. So with that being said, we are going to begin your reading. Aries. Your current energy is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. This queen knows her worth. She knows who she is. She's stable. She is grounded. And she works hard towards what she wants. But she knows her worth overall. She knows her worth. Your... What's influencing his energy is the Seven of Wands. So, you or your partner, and this is a love reading. Um, you or your partner is, the someone is defending themselves in this situation. And maybe because you're defending yourself, you are allowing this other person to see 
your worth with that queen of pentacles in the past you had the king of cups you had the king of cups in the past so in the past with the king of cups there was warm loving energy someone was caring in a situation But something with the death card needs to be transformed. Either your relationship is going through a transformation or Aries, you are going through a transformation. Something is going through a transformation. Your crowning thoughts at this time, the things that, that's on your mind right now is the eight of wands. So you want someone to take action and you want them to move swiftly, come to you quickly with some type of communication. You want them to move toward you because you made this transformation, this transformation, transformation within you took place. You know your worth now. So now you're ready for someone to come in with some communication and you want them to come in quickly you want them to come in quickly so with the knight of swords in the future you're going to get just that someone is going to come in swift but they may have immature energy or when they come in they are going to come in um, and create some type of chaos or an argument or something, but they're not going to come. They're going to come in. You're going to get your wish. They're coming in quickly with that Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, this Knight of Swords. And... I'm looking at this Knight of Wands up here. That's why I said that. But they're coming in quickly with that Knight of Swords. And they are coming in with some type of immature energy. Something that is maybe not what you're looking for. But let's go on and find out. You fear the Page of Wands. So, you could be fearing that this person is not going to take the action to move towards you. Let's find out. I want to know why this, um, this knight, knight of swords is there. Because you, your crown and thoughts are the eight of wands. So, you want them to come in quickly. I want to know why the death card is there as well. Why is the death card here for the sign of Aries? Oh, okay. The Empress. So, someone needs to, um, you, Aries, you or your partner is going through a transformation regarding nurturing this situation. And that's probably... Or that could be the reason why you were guarded. Because something needs to be nurtured within this relationship. And someone guarded themselves. They took a step back because this other person wasn't acknowledging their worth. So now you're, you, you know your worth, Aries. And you and a transformation needs to be needs to take place and a situation needs to be nurtured again. You need to communicate with the eight of wands and in the future with the knight of swords. Oh, we have another knight of swords on top of it. Someone is coming in quickly. <clears throat> Why is this knight of swords here? You have the will of fortune to make change. To make change. 
Someone in the future. Okay. Because I have the Seven of Swords here again. That came out with these three cards. Someone knows their worth now. So this other person with their transformation, the death card, Scorpio energy. This other person cannot come in. They can't come in the way that they... This, they can't come in as the same person. Like, they have to go through a transformation because, Aries, you already went through your transformation. You know who you are, and um, you're going to be guarded if they don't come in right. And they're trying to come in because you have the Knight of Swords that came out back to back on top of each other in two different decks. They are trying to come in come back in the same immature chaotic argumentative energy you're trying to move on from that you want a new beginning you don't want that same energy coming in and that's why with the seven of swords you're still worthy you're still defending your position you're not moving and that's why you fear with this page of wands, you fear they're not they're not coming in with the good news that you want. They're not gonna come in the way that you want. So you'll continue to guard yourself. Seven of wands, seven of wands. You're gonna continue to guard yourself. In hopes that they get and see your worth with the Queen of Pentacles and come in the right way. They see you as the Four of Swords. They see you as overthinking. They see you as recovering from something, some type of stress. Um... They just see you taking the time out. From this. And it's because of their behavior. Because from what I see. They don't know how to act. They're not communicating correctly. With the nine. The knight of wands. They could be a player. They could have in and out energy. They could be on and off with you. And that. And that's why you're, you're blocking them. They want to play. So until they go through this transformation. Could be a Virgo. Your outcome is the Hermit card. You're going inward. You're blocking them and you're going inward. You could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart. But this person is not going to be able to get to you. Because you, because you have stepped out. You took a time out, Aries. From this situation because they don't they don't know how to act and that's that's what i see in the cards that is like straightforward they do not know how to act and you are not going for that type of behavior anymore and i am going to find out let's see what spirit is saying about your partner's energy Let's pull some cards for them and see what's going on because why are they acting out? Like, what's their problem? Why are they coming at you sideways? All right, Spirit, what is the energy of Aries' partner? What's going on with Aries' partner? What is the current energy for Aries' partner? Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. So they want a new beginning. They want to start over. And they want a new... They want to start over within this um, relationship. Why is the Ace of Pentacles there? They want a new beginning. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. 
They want to um, be loving. They want to come in with this loving. They want to take action to come in with this loving, warm energy. And then you have the Ace of Wands. Two Aces back to back. Someone wants to come in and give someone some love. New love. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Someone is coming in. They want to create, they want some uh, new love, a new build, a new foundation with the Ace, Ace of Pentacles. They want to be warm and lovey dovey. New passionate beginning with the Ace of Wands. They want a new passionate encounter with you, Aries. Could be after a conflict with the Five of Swords. They want this because you, you guys have been going through something. And they want to come in and give you some new love and some new loving. But you're, you, they could be using their intuition. This is cancer. The cancer card. They could be using their intuition um, in this situation. And their intuition is telling them that they need to come in correct. And then you have the nine of pentacles that fell out with it. Which is <clears throat> success. So if this person transformed their immature behavior and they come in correct with this ace of pentacles and this ace of wands. Aries, you just might take them back. But the question is, is this um is let's find out is this going if this is going to be permanent? Because I feel as if Yeah, the Hierophant. So once they come back in, Aries, this could lead to marriage. Could be done with the Taurus. We have Taurus here. Virgo, Scorpio. Let's pull your love oracle cards. This is this is this reading is okay. Your partner just has to go through a transformation. They have they have to recognize your worth, Aries. Because if they don't, you're you're out of here. You're gonna you're gonna um put this relationship on a back burner, and you're not sad about it either. Um, Spirit, can I have a love oracle card? For the sign of Aries. Okay. We have the golden mirror. The golden mirror. And it says. Self-absorbed. Narcissist. One-sided relationship. Love bombing. This was your partner's energy. That's why you stepped away. Spirit, I need a love oracle card. For the sign of Aries. And I have another love oracle card. For the sign of Aries. Okay. We have healthy choices. So, Aries, you made a healthy choice. It says making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. You don't have time for their nonsense. Like, there's too much going on in the world to be taking on other people's nonsense. And your last card is girl talk. Someone could be talking to friends, girlfriends, trying to get advice. But it says, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Aries, here it is. You don't have time for their nonsense and you're not upset about it. You're not upset. You are definitely, you are definitely in your fire mode. You definitely know your worth. And if they don't see it or acknowledge it, guess what? They're getting the door. Bye-bye. So, Aries, that is your reading for the week of May 11th through May 17th. I hope this reading resonates with your situation. If so, share, like, please subscribe, hit the notification bell for upcoming videos, and comment below. Be safe out there. I'm sending light, love, peace, and healing energy into the world. Enjoy your week. Thank you for watching. 
I will see you next time. Bye.